I'm Kirk Johnson, this is Ray Troll, and we're on a Troll. beach on the Olympic Peninsula. And this is an amazing place because the Olympic Peninsula is a beach, it's got beaches now, and it had beaches 50 million years ago. It's been the edge of the North American continent. So you can walk down a, a modern beach and find the remains of fossil marine organisms. Some of them were deposited on beaches, some of them were in deeper water. And one of the crazy things about this kind of place is we find these things called concretions or nodules, these big round soccer ball sized rocks that are coming out of the hill. Nodules. Nodules or nodules. concretions. Okay, tell me what's what's the deal with nodules? Why why is a nodule cool? What's 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 a nodule? So uh, this is a sandstone or a mudstone, so it depends. And if you look at the rock, it's made up of hardened ancient sediment. But what's weird is that in the sediment are these big round balls, these concretions. And what happened was when this rock was sediment at the bottom of the sea, and a little critter died at the bottom of the sea, something about the death of that critter would kick off a chemical reaction, it would harden the mud around the critter first. And so inside these big balls, not all of them, but a lot of them, are fossil animals. There's crabs, there's snails, some of them have pine cones, some of them have parts of whales or porpoises, some of them have little marine um, mammals, others have animals that washed out to sea. But a lot of those things have fossils in them. The problem is getting the fossils out of them because the rocks are so hard. So what's the, you say chemical reaction, what, it starts to tumble back and forth? Why, why is it spherical? What's the, what's the deal? Why? It, they're round because they actually, the, the mud has buried the animal and then radiating out from the animals the chemical reactions, they're round. So it's not rolling, it's buried and the animal's in there and you get these perfect little round, like they're like marbles or like baseballs, but they're all sizes from, from basically grape size up to basketball size. And there are places in New Zealand where they get this like five or six feet in diameter, they're wow. huge. So the problem is you can't break the big ones unless you had a really big sledgehammer. But I'll break one of these small ones with a sledgehammer. Please break one. The way to do it is just to pop it on the rock so you don't smash your hand. And bang. And there's a fossil inside of a clam. Oh, cool. A little fossil clam. So let's try this bigger one. Safety glasses, gloves, and a sure hand. Don't want to smash your thumb. Nope, or somebody else's thumb. And there's a fossil crab. There's a crab? Yeah, it's a fossil crab. All right, we got a crab. That's cool. Yeah. I broke this nodule the wrong way, so I cut across the crab, but I got all the pieces and the crab popped out. So here's the negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's one of these little legs, and you're seeing the top of the crab's carapace, little back. And this is one of the, this beach has this particular species of crab. That's some kind of a find here. Um, and you can see that if you pull the nodule apart and take crab it apart, the cross crab's section. in cross section. But yeah. even here, you can see the underside of the crab, those little segments that you see on the underside of the crabs. I can't see that. Yeah. You can tell if it's a male or a female. So then you can put this thing all back together. So there's the pieces. Huh. And then, hold on, it's tight, tucked in there. Just like that, so it all fits back together. Yeah, cool. So here's this little it's baseball, crab. and inside that little nodule is a crab. And you would never know walking on the beach, but, but once you've done that once, you never want to stop because it's an addiction. Nodule, 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 yes, nodule, nodule. They're everywhere so on the beach. Now, the way to do this is you, they're hard to get out of the hill, and then you have to crack them. So the best way to do it is walk down the beach and find what looks like a soccer ball or a baseball or something perfectly round on the beach. And not every rock on the beach is perfectly round. Most of them are sort of round. Those are the ones you don't want. Right. You want the perfectly round perfectly ones. Perfectly round. So lay me down between those layers and tuck me in my fossil bed.